Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am doing a one brand tutorial featuring Urban Decay. I've done a couple of one brand tutorials before where I talk about the best products from a particular brand. So today I want to do it with Urban Decay because quite frankly, I didn't see too many out there in the YouTube world on Urban Decay. I am well familiar with this brand. So I wanted to introduce you to some of their best products. Also talk about some of their not so great products so that we can experience this together. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave your comments and questions down below as always. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. And let's get into this one brand tutorial, Urban Decay style. Before I even begin, I wanted to show you this Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep that I would be using today prior to applying my makeup, but because I'm actually testing out a new skincare product on my Insta stories, I am not gonna be using this. But this is an amazing product. I don't know if you could see, but it looks like this really cool jello. It's perfect to use under makeup. It's not greasy whatsoever. I just wanted to share that Urban Decay has almost a full skincare line, and this is one of those products. Obviously, all the products that I'm gonna be using today are listed in LinkedIn down below for your convenience. You know what to do, click on them. All right, let's begin. First thing that I'm gonna do is use this Quick Fix Priming Spray all over my face. This one smells amazing. Basically what it is is a Hydra Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. It smells like coconut water, I like it. Also, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but a lot of the Urban Decay sprays, priming sprays, and setting sprays are by Scandinavia, which is a brand that specializes in all types of sprays for the face. All right, so I'm gonna let that sink in. Urban Decay has a couple of foundations that a lot of people like, namely the All Nighter and also the One and Done. The One and Done is more like a hybrid BB cream, CC cream type of foundation. It has SPF 20 and it's not as full coverage as one of these foundations. However, I find that the One and Done is perfect for my skin type and tone and texture. So this is my favorite one. And although a lot of people really like the All Nighter, I quite prefer the one and done. My shade in the one and done is medium dark. I'm just gonna dot some all over my face. And get this, this is so exciting. I am not gonna cheat at all today in this makeup tutorial. It's gonna be 100% Herbie Decay. I'm even gonna be using Herbie Decay brushes, which by the way are fantastic. Fantastic. They are some of my favorite brushes. They are so chic and cool looking. And each of them has a number and a name or a purpose for the brush. So that's really convenient. This one is a foundation brush called Optical Blurring Foundation Brush. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use to blend out this one and done. But what I like about it is how nicely it blends. It almost looks like your real skin. It's actually one of my favorite foundations to use in the summertime when I want my freckles to come out and play. And since I just came back from vacay, I'm not too super tan because I didn't really tan, but I do have a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, feeling like I'm still on vacay. Speaking of vacations, I really needed that one, just saying. I was re-reminded once again that we need to go to Puerto Rico a minimum of once a year, especially since Lee has so many family members there and we've been missing out. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Although it looks a little bit orange compared to like the rest of me, we will fix that. Thinking I might need to do just a little bit of the all-nighter foundation, kind of along the jawline. I'm a problem areas. So the one and done foundation is $36 and the all nighter, I will pop the price right here for you guys because I don't recall. Moving right along to Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealers. These are $29 for one. There's tons of shades and I like the fact that each of the shades, whether it's a medium, a medium dark or a medium light, it has the undertone right underneath. So a medium is a neutral, a medium dark is a neutral and a medium light is a warm. I'm gonna use the medium light because I want a little bit of warmth under my eye area. This is a really, really nice concealer. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I guess because I was waiting for this one brand tutorial. But seriously, it's very liquidy, it's very full coverage and it doesn't feel heavy. I'm just gonna dab that on my usual areas, let it sit for a sec. I'm gonna use the same brush for the larger areas, such as my chin, around the mouth and in the brow area. And I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush. This one is a diffusing highlighter brush, but I think it's perfect for these more precise areas like around the nose and under the eyes. All of these products that I've mentioned so far, Urban Decay excels at. Now, 
the next category that I'm about to talk about may just be Urban Decay's weakness. I am talking about setting powders. There's not a lot of options in the Urban Decay brand when it comes to setting powders. They have this one called the Velvetizer, which is a questionable type of powder. It is micro fine, but I would say that it's not necessarily a setting powder type of powder. It's more like a perfecting powder that you would put on top of your powder. Does that make sense? However, because we are not cheating in this video, I am going to use this powder to set my face. Dun, 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 dun. At least I'm gonna use it to set my under eye and my pore zones. I'm gonna use this kind of precise blending brush, Urban Decay Mirror. I'm gonna add this powder right to my under eye. Do you see how it immediately mattifies this whole area? There is absolutely no shine in this triangle where I applied the powder. Pretty interesting, but I wonder if it's actually setting my makeup. The good thing is that the one and done isn't one of those super heavy type of products, so you don't necessarily need to set it or bake it the way that you would with like a full coverage foundation. So it's not gonna move around or break up on you. I'm gonna set this whole area, all those areas that tend to get really oily on me. I'm gonna set between the brows. All right, and definitely, I now need a much larger brush. Large tapered powder brush, and I'm gonna apply that to my forehead. Urban Decay also has this amazing 24 seven concealer pencil, which I like to use for contouring. I've got the shade M16 here, and I'm basically gonna use it the same way that I use my Fancy Match Stick or my Pixi Multi Bomb Stick. I'm gonna contour under my mouth, a little bit around the nose, a little bit around the cheek bones, around the forehead. Although this is not too deep of a contour, I should probably go a couple shades darker, but this will do for now. I'm gonna just blend that into my hairline. I need my baby hairs. So now the Velvetizer is a $34. The 24-7 concealer pencil is about $10 to $12 on UrbanDecay.com. Could that be true? Because that's very affordable. And now for the rest of my face, I am a little hesitant. I wanna use this all-nighter waterproof setting powder, but the problem is, is that it is just so, so cool toned. I just can't imagine this working on someone like me, and it worries me, but for the sake of keeping this video interesting, I can't just show you all of my favorite Urban Decay products. I gotta kinda dig in and I gotta make it interesting. I gotta try stuff out with you guys. Here goes, oh, I'm afraid. Starting with the jawline here, only because I don't mind it being lighter. So far so good, it looks pretty translucent. For my bronzer today, we have the Beached Bronzer. <laughs> they honestly look lighter than my current skin tone. I'm gonna go for the one that says bronzed. I'm gonna use this contour definition brush. See where that takes me? It's subtle, it's definitely very, very subtle, but I don't mind that with bronzers because you can always build it up. Plus this one is matte, so I think it's actually better for contouring. If you're a fair skin tone, I suggest Beach Bronzer by Urban Decay. Next, I wanna move on to brows. Now, Urban Decay has just recently released a whole bunch of cool new brow products, and I have just a few of them right here that I wanna show you guys. We have a primer color situation called Brow Endowed. We have a brow finish gel, two of them. One is clear ozone, and the other is a glitter midnight cowboy. And last but not least, my favorite of all of the products is the brow blade, which is basically a tiny little marker for drawing those little brow hairs and a definer pencil on the other side. Genius, I've been using this while we were in Puerto Rico last week and it's an amazing, amazing product. Perfect for getting that really natural or fluffy brow or defined brow. You could do a lot with just this one little tool. Also, I must mention my absolute favorite brow spoolie from Urban Decay. It's called the Essential Eye Tool. On one end, it's a very precise little spoolie. Then on the other end, it's a brush and it's a little lash definer. And do you see these tiny little blades? It's great for separating your clumpy mascara. It's perfect for separating your brows. It's just a genius little tool. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna brush up my brow hairs. Almost forgot to mention, there's also a double down brow brow powder. So I'm gonna use that first. Angled brow brush. I'm gonna fill in my brow where it needs filling. I'm gonna extend where it needs to be extended. I'm gonna brush it out. Then I'm gonna take my brow blade, the pencil side, and just fill in some of those harder to reach areas or add precision where there needs to be some precision. Then I'm gonna take the marker side of the brow blade. I'm gonna do my favorite part, which is drawing little individual brow hairs. I like to kind of go across the entire width of the brow. And then for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the primer and kind of just shape my brow with that. And then I'm gonna use the color. Oh yeah, satisfying. So I'm gonna complete my other brow and I will be right back. 
brows are done. I gotta tell you, I am really into this new brow collection by Urban Decay. I am really, really drawn to it. It's excellent. Here's what we have. Double Down Brow is $29, includes two shades, and I believe there are about five or six shades for different color brows. The Brow Endowed Primer and Brow Color is $28, totally worth it in my opinion. Brow Blade, another two-in-one product is $26. Get this one, you guys. And the Brow Finisher is $26. $21 for one. Moving on to the eyeshadows. In my opinion, Urban Decay is one of those brands that really excels in the eyeshadow category. They are the first to actually introduce the makeup palette situation to the makeup loving community. The original Naked Palette was my very first palette that I still have such an emotional connection with. I don't care if they discontinued it. I don't care if they're bringing it back new and improved. I like the original one with the duo pencil, not with the brush, because that's how far I go back. But anyway, since then, they've developed so many eyeshadow palettes from a whole series of Naked. They also have a ton of really colorful palettes, like this one, Full Spectrum, and also the Electric. And earlier in 2018, they came out with the Born to Run. Now, a lot of people seem to love this palette. I don't, I'm not gonna dip into that one. I'm just gonna stick to the palettes that I love. I might dabble into a little bit of this one, and also a little bit of the Electric, just cause it's fun and I feel like I could find some colors that match my outfit. But before we get to the palettes, let's talk about Urban Decay's iconic primer potion. Also a cult favorite, the very first primer that I have personally ever tried. I think so many people swear by this. Primer potion comes in about five or six shades. They are $24 each. And I just discovered that there is an anti-aging one, which is kind of unique. I haven't really seen that before. Just gonna dab some to my lid and then blend it out with my finger. Oh man, it's been a while since I've done this technique. <laughs> I hardly remember how to do it, but really it's quite simple. Just dab and blend. If this works, then I might just go back to using primers on my lids. All right, so since I'm wearing blue, I'm gonna go for a hot, warm tone palette for my crease and for my transition shades. I'm gonna pick up my Naked Heat palette, $54. Comes with a dual ended brush. My brush is really dirty. I'm gonna pick up this Smoky Crease Shadow and this shade called Low Blow. And I'm gonna start dabbing that to the outer portion of my crease and eye socket. Love the Naked series. Their eyeshadows are just so pigmented and so easy to use and blend. Ah, I remember why I stopped using primers. It makes it harder to blend out. Now I've used this palette countless times and I know how it blends out. I'm very familiar with this one, but using that primer underneath just makes it a little bit more difficult. Like you actually have to put some blending muscle into that eye. Same shadow low blow on the lower lash line. Just sort of smudging it. What am I feeling next? Tapered blending brush, picking up En Fuego. Applying that to the outer V portion, right on top just to intensify as I always do. Ooh. Oh, I gotta blend out those shadows. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna pick up the electric palette, the super vibrant one right here. I'm gonna use the included brush and I'm gonna dab into this very purple color called Urban. I would say this is the Urban Decay color. Need I say more? And I'm gonna start with the outer portion of my lid. It's kind of a duochrome purple, but it is nicely pigmented. There's no fallout. Like I said before, Urban Decay knows how to formulate their eyeshadows. Man, that is really, really nice. Oh! Next, I'm gonna pick up this pink shadow called Savage. Ooh, that is pigmented honey. I'm gonna apply that to the inner portion of my lid. Just pack it on. And I don't even know why I don't use this palette more often. It's so good. I'm gonna blend that over the border of the two, kind of like that. Yup. And then for the center to kind of complete that gradient, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Jilted and just kind of seal that border. Oh yeah. So now for the inner portion, I wanna add a little bit of this orange that kind of matches my nails called Slow Burn. I'm gonna add that right here on top. Woo, that is vibrant. I'm gonna blend that out a pinch. For the tear duct, I'm gonna pick up this Thrash, neon looking green yellow. Hopefully this will work. Oh my God, that is so good. I told you guys I wanna do something different today. All right, that's really, really cool. Vibrant, popping. I'm gonna do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, both eyes done. I'm gonna use this razor sharp liner. I'm not sure if Urban Decay still sells this product, but it is just so good. And I'm gonna use it to line my top lash line. Also gonna extend this inner corner, draw the little triangle. I'm gonna fill it in just a little bit like that. 
And then I'm gonna connect it to my top lash line. The reason why I like this liner is because it is so precise and also the wand is super short. So it's much easier to do precision lining like the one that I'm doing here in the inner corner with this shorter wand. But look how super sharp and precise you can actually make your cat eye liner. So now for my waterline, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Perversion, a super duper duper jet black, perfect for the waterline. I've been using these pencils since I was in high school. Literally, these are the pencils that I would save up for. Now, I got a little bit of that liner on my lashes, so I'm gonna use that little tool to separate my lashes so they don't clump before I apply my mascara. Boom. But before I go on, I wanna show you this. Oh my God. Do you see this vault of all of these 24-7 Glide-On pencils? When I first got this in the mail, I almost cried because I remember how I would save up while I was in high school for just one of these pencils. So to have all of them is amazing. I love this so much. I'm gonna go with perversion, but I'm only gonna apply that to the liner here I'm gonna leave this inner portion part blank like that. Then I'm gonna use this Basquiat post-punk pencil Also gonna smudge some of that perversion on the outer lower lash line just in between the lashes Okay, and then I'm gonna blend that out with ashes from the Naked Heat. I actually love not planning a look and just letting the product speak to me. It's my favorite way to create a tutorial. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Enfuego and just kind of subtly complete that gradient. Here they are, my beloved heavy metal liners. I love them. I have them in every single shade. I use Glamrock a lot. I also use Midnight Cowboy, so the silver and the gold. But today for this look, I think I wanna do a little bit of distortion. It's this very iridescent looking liner. I don't necessarily like to line my lid with it. What I like to use this product for is to sporadically add glitter to any given area of this eye look. So right now I'm gonna add it right here just for a bit of an iridescence. And it's also gonna help blend these two eyeshadows into each other. I really want it to be visible when my eyes are open. So I'm making sure to keep this above the fold. Kind of turning out to be a fun little Mardi Gras look. These liners are $20 each. They're available pretty much everywhere. Sephora, wherever Urban Decay is sold. So grab one, grab them all. They are outstanding. For my lashes today, I am gonna use Perversion. Perversion is just a classic, super jet black type of mascara. I'm gonna add some to my lower lashes as well, like I always do. And I'm gonna go back to my razor sharp liner and I'm gonna add some twiggies. All right, let's not overdo it with the twiggies, Mary. I'm feeling kind of artistic today. I'm gonna add this cute little second wing. You know what? How about a little glitter in between those two? This liner that I'm using here is ACDC and it's a very Urban Decay colored glitter liner. I'm into this. For my blush and highlighter today, I have this UD Sin Afterglow palette with some blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I have my friend Kristen Leanne's collab with Urban Decay, which was produced last year around this time. And I also have the Naked Cherry. I would say these two are my favorite palettes from Urban Decay for or highlighting and of course this one is like my number one favorite so let's just do that let's use my number one favorite I have a little fan here I'm gonna combine a bit of um, both of these I'm just gonna highlight the most protruding part of my cheekbone oh such a great highlighter. I don't know if her collab is still available, so I wasn't too keen on using a product that's no longer available for the public in this video, but I gotta say, it's my favorite highlighter from Urban Decay, so I'm gonna stick to what I like, but this one right here from the Naked Cherry does come close, so I'm gonna use a bit of that to subtle highlight down the nose of the bridge, right here in the cupid's bow, and then I'm also gonna pick up this pearly shade, and I'm gonna add it right here to my brow arch, and just give it an overall glow. Now, you guys probably don't know this, but Urban Decay also has lashes. Yes, this is a full on makeup line that has pretty much everything. And I'm sad to say, I don't have my favorite lash style from them on hand currently. It's called Tricked Out and it's very similar to House of Lashes Iconic. So today I'm just gonna use my Iconics, which are already pre-cut, I've used them before, but just throwing it out there, Urban does have a lash. They even have these little individual lashes called Urban Lash. I'm gonna apply some glue to my lashes and while I wait for them to get tacky, I am gonna do my lips. Oh wait, I can't do my lips just yet because I need my partner. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Lee. And now let's open that up without hitting the mic. My God. 
Have you guys ever seen this many Urban Decay lipsticks? Which one should I go for? Okay, that's a lot of lip products to choose from. Urban Decay is known for their Vice lipsticks. They are amazing quality. There's different finishes and textures, which is really cool, but I actually grabbed some individuals from Kristen Leanne's collab, also from, I believe this is from The Naked Heat, and also a Perversion, a super beautiful black. I'm gonna go for a nice nude. I am gonna keep it nude today. I'm gonna apply this beautiful color called Fuel, which is a cream, goes nicely with my tan. And although I would like to use an Herb Decay lip liner, unfortunately, a lot of them are red. If you're looking for a dupe, I will tell you that Gerard Cosmetics lip pencils are very similar to the Herb Decay. And there's nudes. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this brown mudslide just to kind of re-emphasize my lip shape. And it's official, I am almost done with this look. The only thing I have left to do is set my makeup with Herb Decay's iconic setting spray, which is their All Nighter. I have right here two versions, one that's uh, personalized, so that's the one that I'm going to use. The all-nighter setting spray is one of those products that will help your makeup last longer than if you didn't have it on. And again, it's also formulated by Skindinavia. Mmm, and here we have it. My one brand tutorial, Herb Decay makeup look complete. Let's zoom in and let's observe. All right, and now moving on to the wear test, eight hours later. Okay guys, it's been more than eight hours since I put this makeup on. I am back in the studio, so let's zoom in to observe the final look and the wear test of this foundation. And this velvetizer powder has got me a little shook. I have not even blotted. We went to the movies, we had some drinks, we watched a movie obviously, and my makeup has stayed intact and it's looking really Damn, decent. I'm beside myself right now. I think this is probably the best wear test that I have conducted on my YouTube channel thus far. So without further ado, I think you can safely say that both of these foundations, the Urban Decay All Nighter and the Urban Decay One and Done are hits. They're hits, you guys, so I suggest get your hands on them. That is that. Those are my final two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this wear test. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other tutorials, reviews, one brand tutorials right here. Bye, guys.